Hey everybody, Matt here, and this is day three of some new single barrels that we just got in. And today I've got a couple of new riff single barrels. And uh, one of the cool things about new riff is, you know, they waited f like four solid years to release any of their own uh, house-made distillate. So that's what we're tasting here, um, um, made there at the distillery. Um, the they they always barrel it at a little bit lower barrel entry proof so um you know you're gonna get a little bit of a slower more elegant extraction of the tannins and wood sugars uh and so it's going to be a little bit softer another reason to wait four years because typically if you put barrel entry at a lower proof it's going to take a little bit longer to kind of smooth out and mellow out so um, definitely something that uh, I'm a big proponent of and one that, you know, after four years, great, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, you know, it'll be really interesting to see how uh, this distillate develops, uh, these whiskeys develop over time. Um, the other nice part about that is when you get something at cast strength or barrel proof, it's at a relatively low and drinkable proof. So like in this case, this is barrel 17-1903. Uh, and this is definitely got uh, way more oak uh, and oak spice than the other one, but it is 105.3. So you can see right there, 105.3. So definitely cast strength, but um, certainly, coming in at a little bit more uh, more sort of drinkable cast strength. So not at 120, 125. Okay, so right on the nose, you get that oak spice. You get a touch of honey. Um, I do get like a little bit of that raspberry cream, uh, kind of a dessert, almost like a cheesecake, a vanilla, vanilla frosting a little bit. But the predominant uh, on the 17 dash, I didn't memorize these, the 17 dash 1903 is more oak than the other. So let's give it a taste. Oak, mint, red fruit, raspberry, some brown sugar in there, some caramel. Um, it's got a, like a nice traditional bourbon profile with that spice on the mid palate and it's real oak spice. It's not like, it's not like a minty rye spice. It's a really nice oak driven spice. So, you know, I pegged this one as a very sort of traditional, straightforward, oak driven with a touch of fruit and a touch of sweetness bourbon. And that is this particular barrel. Um, they share the same UPC, so you're gonna have to go to the store and get it. This one was distilled on March 27th, and it was bottled on May 28th. And it's got some of their particular tasty notes on the side. And for $44.99, uh, you know, they, they do, for, for craft made uh, spirits of this quality, I think their pricing was dead on from the very beginning. So they did a really good job of, um, you know, maintaining uh, the integrity of the brand through a really nice pricing structure. It makes it accessible. It's profitable, obviously, but makes it accessible um, to the consumer that's looking for something different. And knowing that, you know, you guys, myself, uh, bourbon lovers, they buy a lot of different single barrels because you want to try a lot of different things. Okay, this is the second barrel. And this is barrel number 17-0682, all right? So right away, um, you definitely get much more sweet, floral, mint, spice-driven notes on the nose. It's not as oak-driven as the other one. So if you're looking for something more floral, more sweet, um, this particular one, the 17-0682, uh, to me is much more in the Four Roses house style. So. All right, and um, there's David. David's giving a nice note 
uh, as we're watching this, uh, saying that it's kind of a cherry bomb. Um, I don't get that on the nose, but I'm gonna taste it here in a second, okay? Mm. Really nice lifted floral aromas. Touch of honey, touch of brown sugar again. Um, gosh, almost like, I don't, I mean, I get very minimal oak spice. This is like a, this is definitely in like that Indiana MGP style um, where it's not, it's not over oaked. It's light, but it's got a ton of flavor at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you're, they're both great. This is, this is an oaky style. This is definitely a more elegant fruit and honey and cherry. I get that cherry driven style. Um, you know, the, the 0682, that, that's probably be the one that I would personally pick and drink, but everybody's got different tastes. And um, obviously we picked these out from several different barrels as our two favorite of the day. Uh, and so I think they're both uh, definitely worth the money, definitely worth picking both up and doing a compare and contrast. But right off the bat here today, that 0682, you're right. Honey, cherry bomb, delicious. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.